Ming Bree, and you're watching Darker Shade Productions. Good morning everyone, my Facebook, my YouTube, all my good up good up fans, good morning, blessed love to each and everyone. Thank you all for watching, my new friends, my old friends, friends that don't come on. Pleasant good morning, good night, good afternoon, wherever you are. It's a beautiful morning this morning. This morning on our field we have Mr. Hemin on our farm this morning, you know. A friend of mine, a farmer friend, called me and said, you know what, I have a special gentleman I want to, uh, want you to meet this morning. And he's on our farm this morning. He's going to give us some advice, some interesting oh, advice, yeah. education advice, ed educational advice rather, pertaining to farming. And this is what we love. This is what we love. The message is spreading across pertaining to farming. Young people, elderly come on board. This is what we are all about. So check it out. He's here with us. Here we are. We have Miss Brown here with Hi. us. You know, <laughs> yeah. she's gonna give us advice. You know what? We're not too old to learn. We're not too young to learn and to take advice from the younger one. So Miss Brown here gonna give me some advice and also darker shades because we all need yeah, it. True. Yeah, man. All right. <laughs> all right. I was the general manager for a large exporter, Carita, and um, I've been sort of just studying the um the industry very carefully mm -hmm. you know my background is really investment banking okay and i sort of came into this accidentally but the the, the economics makes sense because it is a profitable industry you just have to have more coordination and more um more structure really you know the farmers i think the, one of the biggest challenges is that the banks don't understand farming and the risks that the farmers have to take so one of the challenges is how do you lend to a farmer when you don't know how to calculate the risk yeah you know so you know we have um it's a new venture really um but we have export markets already in place so we really want to just get farming groups organized you know, I said, Mr. K Mr. Kemar, if he could coordinate it for me in this area, um, we have a guaranteed market every week. And we just need to know that it's serious people. All right, when you put this out, just remember this. No, put on record. Man. Just remember this. Man. All our scotch bunny farmers, them in St. Mary. Yeah. Just link up. You get me, I say? Mm -hmm. Maybe we can drop something in the description, a number for your contact, Mr. Anita. Yeah, man. And you I get, you know, get in contact with us if you have scotch bunny peppers available so we can reach out to you, you know, coordinate you. If you can, you know, have a thing planning now where you can set a budget for you can make a, a weekly income of something we're going to be consistent for years. Not just this month and we're not going to come to you next month. You get me? Some consistency. So if you're looking into make good money of a consistent production in farming, link with us. So, my boy, I control all the people. I'm my radar bridge and I tell me, say, you come link us. So, I saw you for one time. I don't want to. I produce small shepherd. Anytime you call link us, mm -hmm. I call link as a wild card. I'm in my place. I don't know where I go. I have to come link you. We never know how so much. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate it. Last really time, the last time we did it, the jeep wasn't yeah. installed. The last really time we did it, the jeep wasn't installed. The last time we did it, the jeep wasn't installed. At this, at this we are in us. Mm -hmm. Each one help one. You know we all about that, you know. We yeah. all about the farming, you know, we all about the good vibes. You get me I yes. say, use it to uplift Jamaica, uplift the youths. You get me I say, yeah, take people out of poverty yes. as well. You get me? No for the youths, more the youths should have involved in a farming. In a right, farming. Jamaica. Yeah, because it really can take you out of the poverty. And certain things are the key. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Because here what happened now. One suit of clothes can serve me how much? Years. But you have to eat. Every day. Yeah, every day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every day we have to eat. Mm -hmm. I know a joke. Yeah, man. 
Yo. Mm -hmm. You see, you see, when we when the pandemic first struck, uh, we were afraid of food security, and everybody was running to yeah. buy food yes. and it was panic shopping. Remember that Rada put out some farmers markets, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they had these baskets where for two thousand dollars you could get how much pounds of mm -hmm. melon and yeah. carrots, yeah. And, yeah. and I think it really hit the psyche. People now understood. Yeah. How much the farmers oh, were see. contributing Fruity. because what Side would happen you know, is all that fresh produce would go to the hotels. Mm -hmm. Yes. But yeah. now that the hotels were closed, closed. we had this bounty mm, yeah. of crops. Mm, true. And I think it really I, I can tell you when when I went to the farmers market, the, the people were so optimistic and because remember, you know, we were in a novel mm -hmm. pandemic. So nobody knew what was to, to expect. Everywhere was shutting down. The logistics were shutting down, the air travel was shutting down, so even the food supply was threatened. But here in our Jamaica, we mm -hmm. could see all these fresh produce yeah, and crops. Out, yeah. And it really gave people a, a comfort, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 So farming is um, definitely something that we need to pay attention to and appreciate. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. People, so I look when the pops out them car, I'll show them, them, them I look good. Then you can come yeah, looking good, peeps. Come on. Come on, we have some visitor on the farm today. It's a good look. Some business moves, so people, it's a good look. I look on the pop show. Coming on, good. Yeah, man, how if you transplant them, I know people. In in short, oh, they're going to transplant them. So just do remember, like up the video, share up the video. Do remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Yeah, man. We also we also have Mr. Williams right here and Mr. Williams just showed me something in the farm that mm -hmm. is very very important. So I'm going to let him go straight ahead and tell us what it is what is um the 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 problem I have in the field here. First of all for the, for the introduction my name is Mr. <laughs> Williams okay and I'm just here on Wanita farm yes showing our and giving her some tips about micronutrients and fertilizers. As I see already, she already have a, a little pest problem, which mm -hmm. we can address. Yeah. It's not something major, but normally, when you have a plant like this, and you can see literally ants coming up on the root, mm -hmm. they are creating a nest under the spider roots. Okay. Mm. Okay, so normally, mm -hmm. if, if you leave the ants to make a nest on the spider roots, mm -hmm. it's going to come back up as a root rat. You're going to see some white powder like stuff on the roots. Yes, the plant yes. going to dry up. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be producing and it's going to die. Mm -hmm. So you have to make sure you, 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 know, you get the right amount of pesticides mm -hmm. at the roots, soaking mm -hmm. on the roots with also fungicides. So okay. you know you would have a proper rounded plant so mm -hmm. there's nothing affecting the roots. And once there's nothing affecting the roots, the plant is surely going to produce properly. Okay. You get me? Yeah. I can just kind of, but as you may say, Juanita, yo. Everything look like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. So you did that. Oh, we use spray. All right. Me use number no, twenty. Hello. Yeah, good. Me use forty-five. That, that's why it's a green and one color. Buy twenty do that. Yes. Yeah. Active see me and him something there. Um. We missed the last two weeks, but we we'll get three thousand pounds, and we pay one eighty a pound. One eighty. I know that sometimes the pepper go up to 250, mm -hmm. it go up, but for my market, we have to price it so that uh, I can't pass on any price cost to the, to the buyers over there because okay. they make yeah. patty and they make jerk seasoning. Mm -hmm. So they know them have, I feel lucky in at a price. But as I said, what we really want to bring to the table is a relationship. Mm -hmm. I don't know Mr. Kemar. But I know somebody who know Kemar, Mr. Yeah. Henry, yeah. right? And we, it's a relationship thing we want to build. Um, I don't want you to feel like you're doing business with me mm -hmm. and you're not benefiting from it. It has to be something that is a beneficial. Yeah. The other thing to my partner, which is her mother, she has a very big finance company. So we are kind of going into the export thing not just looking at it from an export point of view but a relationship where we can develop the farmers 
you understand yeah. so like things like irrigation system and stuff these are things that we can can help to finance okay. you know okay. so it's a relationship so it's not just to say boy we just come buy things if you really want to you know i will see the production i will see the output and you come and you say to me boy mr hemming I want to put in some drums or some mm -hmm. something because some. even even right about now mm. if you look across right over there we have a pond right over there okay yeah, and pump, and, um, yeah. we need a pump to bring up the water to bring the water that's these are the type of things that we want to get involved in and it's a relationship thing still because we know that I want to be in business with you. Alright, let me tell you straight up. We want to be the biggest pepper exporter. From it named pepper, mm -hmm. we want to be the ones that have it. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that the people who work with us have an incentive and feel good to know that, you know, they're getting good reward for their work. Yes. And then at the same time too, if you want to improve your business, which is really to build up your family and your life, yeah. we can help you with that too, as a, you know? You know, going forward over from the other side. Mm -hmm. You want to clear and do clear. more. Right, right. So like, how, how much, sorry to cut you there, how much yield you can get from this now? <sighs> Come here, I take the whole thing, you know. You know that. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> My brother will learn his place again and yes. do some work. Huh? So we must have it. Yeah. It's a good yeah. amount. Because for right now, as, as, as I was telling you that, it was a struggle getting it to where it is now. It should be. Glad for the introduction. Oh, I didn't get I didn't your name. Horace. Horace. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and Hemming. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. man. Yeah, man. Yeah, so so we have the, the connection. Um, how soon before you ready for me? Realistically, uh, William, so you just say about 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 in a month. They come back and they might float like they might be an idea. Yeah, right. I remember we don't want oh, them to get too right. We just want, want them green, green. just before yeah. them green. start turn. Mm -hmm. okay. The size don't really matter really. It's just really want the colour. Colour. You don't want them to arrive, you want them green yeah. yeah. okay. Just before them start to turn. That's the right. Yeah man. So all, right, cool. all of these ones, um the information that I was given to me, all I have to do is to apply it. Yeah man. She good man. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna pump up around there, man. So I'm <laughs> a big screen saying I can't believe man. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think now with the thing of a big and nice like how we nice, you know? Can't yeah. believe them man. <laughs> big and nice man, cause <laughs> man. thank you. Thank you, thank you. Miss right. Brown, Willie, you know, Mr. Hemming. Enough man out of your work, you know. Enough man out of your work, you know. Thank you very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You know, the knowledge. You know, the knowledge. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. 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 Thank you Thank very you. much for stopping by. Because they don't want to have to be thinking and reprice this and reprice that. Mm -hmm. The buyers overseas. And this is the problem. Listen, let me tell you about yam. You ever know about the yam? You have a little piece of yam up there, but not a <laughs> large scale. Yam. The yam farmers are disconnected from reality. Because the truth of the matter is. Yam could go from a hundred dollars a pound. Two weeks later, it reached to one fifty. Mm -hmm. oh, I tell you, within six weeks, that same yam that was hundred dollars could be three hundred dollars a pound. Yeah. The people who are buying it overseas. It's not a little man in a shop or so. It's an importer who have a distribution chain, a supply chain. I mean, and they have to know the pricing to be consistent to sell it. Because there's a ceiling, you know, where it reach overseas and people just won't buy it. There's no end to say. You can just raise the price of yam and people will always buy it. No. Mm -hmm. So that is a very difficult one because the yam market is, the, the farmers is like a emotional thing to me. It's not even business sense or anything practical. It's just a man say, why well, you know, sir, we can get 180 a pound. Last week it was 120. And it just gone, so you know, 
It don't go by ten or twenty dollars. It go by fifty, sixty dollars when it raises. So mm -hmm. why stable price for yam? Why why stable price? Typically, I would say around one fifty. One fifty. I know where money. Me Safe like one fifty. Let me know why you not more than that. Me you won't have enough hands to sell it. I care about the place and I spoil him and I'll turn it to the lap on. Alright, my love. Nice to meet you here. Alright, yeah, man. Bless up. Bless up, my brother. Oh, yeah.